Hello viewers at home, I am at VidProAI on YouTube and today I'm going to show you guys how to set up Photo Booth on OpenArt. Photo Booth on OpenArt will allow you to create personalized photos and you could create AI art of yourself, your friends with consent, your pet. The limit with Photo Booth really is your imagination. So now we're going to head on over to OpenArt.AI slash Photo Booth. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to the person category. Some examples of this one working would be seeing yourself with different characters or avatars or superheroes. And we will click right onto it. Now we can pick our presets, which are highly curated prompts to generate images of yourself with. We can pick as many of these presets as we want. And there are a lot of different categories. These presets are a great way to get used to Photo Booth and produce some great images without needing to craft crazy prompts. I'll choose the male Avengers characters. As you can see, it comes with 11 different styles and 88 photos. Whenever you train a model of yourself, it's important to note here that you get 400 image credits to go along with the model so you can generate 400 images of yourself along with these preset generations. And after clicking the continue button, you can go ahead and purchase your photo booth trained model. You have various checkout options like Google Pay, or you could just straight up pay with a credit card. After purchasing, we can move on to the rest of the process. Up top, we can name the specific model. I'll just name it Matt after my own name. And next, we can type in an identifier. The identifier is the word that you're going to use in your prompt to specify the object you trained all your photos on. So I'll just put Matt Vid Pro in here. And next up is the class. This text is especially important. If you're training images of yourself and you're a male, you're probably going to want to type man in there. Or if you're training images of your cat, you're probably going to want to type cat in there. I'm just going to type man in because I'm training images of myself. And here we can see the original image guidelines. 20 to 30 photos are recommended. The more images, the better. 15 close-up portraits, three half bodies, and two photos of your full body. You should be in the center of your own photo. No other people in the photo. No nudes, obviously. And there's different guidelines for a pet or a character or an art style or a product image. So I'm going to want to go ahead and select all of my photos and drag them right into the website. And now all of these photos will be uploaded into Photo Booth. And again, I'm using 19 photos. They want you to try to have 30. I see a few unnecessary ones. I'm going to delete them just by clicking on these little X ones. We're then going to go ahead and click on the start training button. And as you can see, we are now back after the model has trained. I also, in the meantime, trained a model on my dog as an example. It actually trained in under an hour, which is pretty cool. So these do train pretty fast. And we can now explore the matte model with the preset of the Marvel characters. So as you can see in a lot of these images, this is me portrayed as the character Loki. And honestly, a lot of these turned out pretty interesting, pretty cool. Definitely resembles me in some ways, but also resembles the character. Hawkeye actually turned out pretty good than this example particularly. And you can see Peter Quill from Guardians of the Galaxy as well. This one turned out shockingly good, I think. Definitely resembles me, but also resembles the character I'm supposed to be in this scenario. And of course, right up at the top here, I can generate myself. Whenever I want to add myself into the prompt, I need to include the identifier and the class and the prompt. If you just click this button right here, it automatically will put it in the prompt for me. So I'll type photo of and then I'll click to add myself in there. We'll generate photos of me eating ramen. And of course, we've got settings here. How many steps and CFG scale, typical stable diffusion settings. And we'll click the submit button to generate. As you guys can see, the images of my dog actually turned out quite well. I used a preset pack that wasn't made for animals and it actually turned out good anyways. These actually definitely look a lot like my dog, but really, really cool nonetheless. So everyone, I'm Matt VidPro AI on YouTube and that is how you train a photo booth model on open art.